Let me show you how you can use ground cover to troubleshoot HTTP 500 errors within minutes. We start with a monitor that's firing because of some client that is having HTTP issues with a server. We can see the resource. We can see this is happening over some time. And we can take a look at other types of information here. So we can take a look at the client logs, for example. We don't see anything too interesting. So we can take a look at traces. And here we have full examples of the APIs breaking. Clicking on one of those examples, we're able to get a glimpse at the full payload, full headers of both the request and the response of this specific span, all thanks to ground cover's revolutionary eBPF sensor. We probably want to take a look at the server. And we can see the server here at the top, click on it, and go to the dedicated page and start investigating what might cause it from the server end. Going to the resources tab, we can take a look and see if maybe the container is being throttled. Maybe the node is busy and it's a noisy neighbors issue. We can take a look at the APIs and get a higher level glimpse into what is happening with this service. And we can jump into the logs from this server and try and find if something was being logged that would help us. We can filter just for the error logs and we can see quite a bit of this. Opening any of these will let us know that this request was getting some errors and we actually have a lot more info here on what was happening. And this will of course help us figure out the issue from the server side and continue the investigation. So we started from a client monitor firing. We looked at traces between the two services to figure out the issue. And we ended up looking at resources and logs from the server side to help us understand the root cause. All of that within minutes in the same platform.